Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so since we're on functions, let's uh, let's look at something else we can do here. You might be wondering, can you call a function from within another function? The answer to that question is yes. So, if we start over here again and create adding function, we'll do function um, add. That's just what we're going to call it is add. And in here, we're going to put num1 and num2. And we're going to return num1 plus num2. So instead of actually creating an answer variable, we're just going to skip that, and we're just going to return whatever num1 plus num2 is. Then we're going to create another function. And we'll call this one create subtraction function. And we'll do function subtract. And for parameters, we'll put num1 and num2. And you can do that because it's only reading these parameters inside the function here. So even though I'm using this one up here, it's not going to read them anywhere else except for inside that function. So I can use the same parameters with the same names down here as well. So now I can do return num1 minus num2 and then I can do function um, do math and we'll do create do math function all right and then here what I can do is I can do hmm how do I want to do this we'll do var add nums equals um, add we'll do five and three and then we'll log that to the console console.log add nums and then we'll do var uh, minus nums equals subtract and we'll do 5 and 3 for that as well. And then we'll do console.log minus nums. Okay. Then we're just going to call this do math function. And when I save that, now if I hit refresh, you're going to notice it gave me the answers. It gave me the 5 plus 3 and then the 5 minus 3 so I got 8 and I got 2 so that was a lot so let's just go over this here quickly um, so I created the first function which is to add the numbers so we added num1 and num2 and then we just simply instead of creating another variable we just returned whatever num1 plus num2 is then for the second function we did a subtract num1 and num2 so we returned whatever num1 minus num2 is then we created a third function and inside this function is where we called the other two so here we created a variable add nums which is self-explanatory you're adding the numbers and that's five and three that we added and we logged that to the console and then we wanted to do minus nums, which subtracts 5 and 3, or I'm sorry, 3 from 5, and log that to the console and told it to do, you know, minus nums right there. So then all we had to do simply was call our function. And here we should comment this and call do math function. Even though that's pretty self explanatory, we're still trying to practice to be good with that. Okay, so that's all you got to do if you want to use a function inside another function. It's actually uh, pretty self-explanatory and uh, pretty cut and dry. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.